Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look in on my African night crawlers. Now this bin has been going for well over a year. We harvested it about a month ago. Today we're going to take a look in on the world's largest feeding. No, just kidding. Uh, the largest feeding they've ever had. And we put in a couple gallons of food and a couple gallons of bedding. So let's see what they did with that. Okay, so it looks like they've done a pretty good job here. And you can see all the really nice fine castings on the top. You can see how much bigger the castings are for uh, African night crawlers than other worms. So we're just going to kind of, I have not looked in on this and I'll, I'll put what it is below, but at least 20 some days. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look in here, move all this top dry stuff over and see what we've got. Um, We've got some avocado, which is pretty dry on the side here. You can see where it's pulling away from the side because the sides dry out a lot faster. And I'm going to admit, I have not looked in this since we fed it. So I do not know what's going on in here. So let's, let's take a look. I'll put a little uh, picture below of what it was that we fed them. Look, looks like they've gotten into this. Um, avocado shell. That's nice. Okay, so let's see what we've got. I know that we were looking at, you know, some of these to see if they had been eaten last time. And we fed a whole bunch of something. And there's really, just looking at this right here, I'm not seeing a bunch of worms. I am seeing that they're getting into most of these. All right, so we're kind of digging through here. I'm not really seeing any food, but I am seeing a good concentration of worms here. And lots of avocado peels, which they love. Looks like uh, something's growing under here. I don't know what it is. Ooh, it looks like one of my Florida avocados. So I'm probably going to let the worms get out of there because I've been wanting this or one of these to grow. Now I think this was a uh, pineapple and it looks like they're totally, totally into it. Just, you know, all intertwined. Not that we could get a good worm ball out of that because they're all just kind of living in it. But I can see that there's some leaves and stuff left over here. And so that's definitely left. Let me kind of go on the other side here and see what there is left. Looks like we might have some limes or something right there. So this has been about 20 some days. Uh, it looks like they've taken care of almost everything. Maybe those limes were a little bit too deep. Well, maybe not. Because um, sometimes I wonder when I bury things super deep, you know, is is it too deep for the worms to get into or not? And sometimes I just don't know. So these African night crawlers are pretty small. And that was one of the things that I was going to put up for discussion. Should I purchase more African night crawlers that are normal size and put them in this bin and see if they can um, keep their large size like they were when I first got them in 2019? Because keeping them growing in a really small bin seems to have made them not very big worms. I mean, these aren't, you know, much different than what I have for my red wigglers and such. So uh, it's, it's kind of disappointing to see, you know, African night crawlers that are so small. So put in the comments below if you think that I should get another pound of the African night crawlers and see what they can do in this bin and see if they can stay their really cool large size. So I'm just going to keep turning things over. I'm going to take these two that I, I want to grow and move them out. If you're new to my channel, I tend to let things grow uh, in my zone 5 that don't normally live in zone 5. So that's, that's kind of one of my things. 
I have some uh, bonsai, sort of bonsai, quasi bonsai, avocado and mango trees because my worms grew them for me and I think it would be rude to uh, to kill them if they, you know, grew them, took the trouble to grow all these really cool tropical trees for me and then I go and kill them. So I am not seeing, uh, I was concerned that the moisture would be really bad, but it's not because I haven't checked on it for such a long time, but it is getting to be warmer outside, so, you know, the furnace isn't on drying out the, the worm brim. So they have made some really nice castings very, very quickly. I'm just going to turn everything over. You can see that the moisture underneath is still really good. So what we're going to do again today is we're going to give them another large feeding and see, you know, if we can keep up these really large feedings if maybe these worms won't get some size on them. And, uh, you know, it's, it's always a little bit people are like, oh, those aren't African night crawlers, you know. Like, well, I've grown them separate from the rest of my worms since I've had them. And so, you know, there's the possibility another kind of worm snuck in, but there are African night crawlers in this system. So I'm thinking about getting another pound of, or so of the large African night crawlers to put in here to see if I can keep them large. Let me know if you think it's worth my money to do that or not. But I'm going to put all the leftover food here in the middle and then we're going to put our new feeding on top and see if, uh, see if they can go through another huge feeding. Now this new feeding that we're going to be giving today actually has a lot of root crops which will probably last for a very good long time. Um, they have not been frozen so, you know, not sure what we will come to the next time if there will still be a lot of root crops or not. This also includes a little bit more of ginger. So let me go grab that and we will top these guys up. So another gift from Cece. I think these are beets. I don't think I've fed beets before. So some apples, some carrots, more ginger. Maybe it'll sprout for me and I'll grow a ginger plant. Let's put that off to one side. Um, so this is probably maybe eight pounds of food in here. It's a completely full five or three gallon bucket, so I'm not really sure what that turns out to be. But this is a lot of food for them, so this should keep them busy until I can come back in another two to three weeks. So let me get them some bedding. So this is my prepared bedding that's been sitting for the three weeks that we've been not looking at the worms. So it is coconut coir, shredded, shredded paper, and cardboard with some kelp meal. And um, so this is a really big feeding and a really big amount of bedding. If you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.